Hello everyone, Ajon here with another Seal Division Normandy 44 replay. Spot on the south side as the 101st Airborne, we have Rock Weinros. Spot on the north side as the ISS, as the uh, 116th Panzer, we have ISIS Foreign Affairs Department. Hello, uh, CIA, DOD. Welcome to my replay. <laughs> Some other reason, just have a good feeling this may trigger a couple flags. Who knows? Maybe I get some more subscribers from it. By the way, we do got a couple motorcycle reconnaissance units. They do, of course, have the machine guns. I haven't really seen these all too often. They do, in fact, have uh, high optics. Decent MG. It only has a range of 600 meters, however. And they do have no armor, so they actually can quite die quite easily. We do got a... 234 reconnaissance unit, auto cannon units, multiple auto cannon units over on this left side. There is an AT gun here. It does have only four member, however, and it's behind the bush. They can get some very accurate shots off. It's going to be lining up its first shot now. He needs to be retargeting it now. We'll lose the first one, but we'll wipe it out entirely. So he can, in fact, win this flank now because there's nothing really there to engage the armor. We've got some various infantry here, various infantry units here, and we do, in fact, have a command trophy here. We've got the units now pushing on forward. And I thought the 101st would have a bit stronger early game. This shows you how, even though they do have some great incendiary units, they need to be in cities and the forest. And they he just pretty much lost his entire flank. He, while he did lose one of the contest units, winning this entire flank is important, especially for his 101st, which they have in superior economy actually throughout the entire day of the game. Because they have more economy here, more economy here. Actually, yeah, more economy here, here. Same here, so overall they do have entirely more income throughout the entire game. At 15, plus 15 across 40 minutes potentially. That is additional... Hint. I should never do math when casting. That's a ca rule no matter what. We got a motorcycle ready to shoot, but of course shooting a uh, light tank not exactly ideal. We've got this MG-34 providing very good amount of suppression. We'll, in fact, suppress down this MG. In fact, we'll wipe it out. One thing I always hate is... Vehicles don't explode when getting shot by guns! That's something that's one of my pet peeves with Grand Theft Auto. And that Jeep just exploded because of machine gun fire. Granted, this is actually more likely... But still highly unlikely because these are probably equipped with a... Uh, a tracer every so often round. In the United States military, it's usually one out of four rounds are in tracers just to help for targeting for MGs. No point in putting every single round of tracers. That would be just wasteful and expensive. So we got this reconnaissance unit here. And this Jeep 30 cal is probably providing map pressure here. So maybe he's a bit worried there's other infantry squad. Do got a bombing run went in. I missed it. I didn't see them drop, actually. It was a P-51D Mustang, so it must have been one or two light bombs. Impulse during this battle phase. And so I'm not exactly sure where they land. There is an AT unit here. Usually, or it's AT half track. I think this guy usually also carries around the Panzer Strike along with it. So may have wiped out a Panzer Strike unit. Airborne rifles will be picked off by the Panzer Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadiers do, of course, have two LMGs, making them very potent. Along with the sporty LMGs. Um, geez, there's a great amount of ground being gained by the Axis player. Well, it's usually an allied favorite beginning game. It just seems like he has a, so much more assets. Why? Where's all the airborne assets? He saw that one aircraft, so that's a huge expense that really hasn't done all too much. There's also now some Panzer 3s coming on out. Ah, there's something in my eye. Jeep 30 cal will be falling back along with the reconnaissance unit. There's some reinforcing units. This AT gun is very necessary. If you post put the ICA raid right around here, it'd be a good spot for it. Though they're bending the road, the ideal spot maybe it could be a bit risky and be an open ground, perhaps in this beyond this tree or in this ridge line here, in order to see down the road a bit more. But actually he's moving a bit far from one direction. We got an M3AT gun here. M3. 
This is weaker than the M180 gun. Oh, that jeep got spotted. No auto cannons hit it, because the auto cannons are right here. Currently just reversing, reverse moving out of there. We got a Panzer 3M. This is one of the heavier Panzer 3s not coming on out. It does have seven armor and ten armor penetration. Granted, it will have trouble for the Shermans because most of them have ten armor, if not eleven. Some of them, I believe, have five. Can't really, can't really think at the top of my head, but it's a good medium tank, just not exactly the greatest of all of them. It's probably one. Of the, it's of course the Panzer 3 line is lighter than the heavy of the medium tanks. The Chaffee has 8 armor penetration, which is more than enough to take on the 6 armor. However, the Panzer 3 is more slotted win because it has 2 stars of veteracy, making its total accuracy 6. Actually, both of their total accuracy is 6, but with the higher armor versus armor. Well, higher uh, armor versus the enemy armor penetration. Oh, so you got another Mustang coming in for a couple of Amira. We'll pin down the squad, get a couple models, not all too much. You got some airborne rifles. Air this is one reason why. He is not deploying so much. These airborne rifles, they're expensive. They have any unit with an AT weapon pretty much adds plus 15 to the cost. And their base cost is around 15 to 20 already, so pretty much doubles the cost having that AT weapon. Man 20, uh, 22, moving on forward, trying eye for the Panzer 3. We'll roll a miss. Panzer 3 will now responding. We'll get, will not actually get the next shot off. He will pull back just in time. The rate of fire difference is 7 and 7, so I'm not so sure why it was sort of looks like he's probably ready to fire before the Command 23. And both of them now are lining up a shot. The Command 22 will get back the first shot. No! The Panzer 3 did, and will result a death. So this flank is lost. This flank is being reinforced, but still pushed. So we've got these airborne engineers. These airborne engineers are in a very good position. Pathfinders here, so they do, of course, have heavy gammon bombs. But, of course, that is a very close range weapon. It's not like a bazooka with a range of, what is it, 200? Yes, 200. So they have half the range of bazooka, so they have to be very close. There's a couple Thompsons on the squad, while there's only one SMG here. The Panzer Grenadiers are great at range, not so great at close range. However, their three stars of veterancy would be quite effective along with these supporting half tracks. However, he will get outgunned two to one. Half tracks are now lining up their machine guns. We also got a Falk 190 with four small bombs. However, it will get taken out by in Bazooka. The Bazookas have very good range. Nice bombs coming. We'll force the pin downs and we'll. Order them to fall back so they don't surrender or have while well, they can move back away from getting surrendered. And of course, they are in a sprinting state, so they probably will be able to escape out without worrying about surrender. We've got a Panzer Warfare now moving on forward, so we do got some rocket artillery. A bit of quietness had fallen across the line. We got the Normandy Beach right here. I think that's Normandy. Hmm. Based on these steep cliffs, most likely this is an Omaha-based beach. Omaha or the other US one. Got a lot of cast today. I'm just trying to spike myself some bit of caffeine. Since I don't drink it all too often, it really does help. As for barrage, getting a very good barrage wipes out the entire incendiary unit. We'll collect the half track. The bombing run will pin down these infantry squads. He should try running forward with the airborne leader to force them to surrender. Do got one auto cannon, auto cannon unit going down to the M3. The M3 does have, of course, five accuracy, one star veterancy, so six total accuracy. Auto cannon is sending some rounds back, but he will get two decisive hits, wiping them both out. That is exactly what he really needs to get back in this game. Well, the field control is still in favor of the Axis player at plus one at 
I mean, both those auto cannons are quite big, but he still has a couple uh, Panzer threes are still alive. One of them command so has his AT weapon. Granted, the AT weapon does in fact have one HE or accuracy, so it's not going to do all too much for the HE rounds. Some reinforcing infantry squads. And this AT gun will in fact get hit by this Vector 3 Panzer Grenadier at long range, and he will quickly suppress it down. Now the half-track could run forward trying to eye for the surrender. Airborne engineers in the hold fire state, or at least on his grand's on range, better not reveal himself since his uh, potency is that flamethrower. All of the three Thompsons. Hawk Wolf 190 coming in for a bomb run. We do got the bazookas here. We'll roll a miss on the half track. He needs to make sure his units do not get caught out by it. Half track while expendable, the uh, Panzer three not so much. Next bazooka shot lining up, fires, destroys the half track. No su little suppression on the Panzer Grenadier. The airborne rifles are trying to reposition so they can hit the the Panzer Grenadier with its flamethrower. Panzer three now roll on four. This unit is p falling back. Airborne rifles. He's moving closer into the flamethrower range. He needs to make sure. Yes, he does stay out of the flamethrower range. AT gun move continuously get suppressed. We got some more airborne rifles as well. Oh wait, keep the one designed for a straight in. We got one coming in for a bombing run, a light bombing run. Eyeing for the officer unit. That is a very valuable squad to hit. We'll wipe it out. That is critical. That, is, that help inspired the nearby men to fight harder. And now it's gone. Now they lose all that three stores of veterancy, basically, across three units. We've got a mobile wagon coming forward. Mobile wagon will be great for suppressing these nearby infantry units, as well as dissuading Mustangs from staying in the area. We also got a mortar half track as well. And so we're for down to the last 10 rounds. I probably reloaded by now. It takes a very long reload time. We do got how a B-26 Marauder out on the field. This is a heavy bomber. Eight, ten HE bombs. All of them has just been dropped. It will bomb in a sort of a line, dual line. We'll do a good amount of damage. Not exactly ideal, but we do got this bomber now being hit. However, we do got some air support aircraft help assist. The bomber will get out no problem. However, that aircraft will in fact go down. It was a bombing aircraft. It was a quick response like, oh crap, that's a bomber. You don't see the B-26 very often. Of all the airborne games, I think this is the of I cast. You don't that's the first one I've actually seen. We got the airborne rifles. They do only have one LMG. It is the Browning 1919. Not the BAR. And while he's fighting facing this MG42, both of them are heavy cover, and I think. Uh, with the support of the other airborne rifles, you probably will win out. If you want to air security coming on in, not sure why. Maybe perhaps a miss rally. Oh, the motorcycle found the AT gun. They go to old fashioned way. Airborne rifles in range, bazooka range, and taking that half track. However, they just out of vision range. These pathfinders, they're very close to this 232 command unit. However, they're just too far from really actually to engage it with the. Uh... Ooh, engine destroyed. That is a mortar half track as well. That is a very good pickup. That's a very good spot for the AT gun. Look at that. You're going down that road. I can see why you put it down right there and not the edge of the forest. MG42 will get cleaned up. We do got the mobile wagon now supporting the retreat of the 251. Ooh. 
And this Panzer III is a very risky spot. If this squad wasn't very suppressed, once it reduced the suppression, I would have run in, throw a bazooka on that Panzer III, hopefully get a kill within the first shot, and the second shot will probably finish it off if it didn't get a hit. Another bomb run coming on in, and minus suppression. And seeing that B26, he's probably going to be like, probably going to be realizing, oh crap, I need air sporty fighters on call at all times. And he knows he has air, air sporty aircraft help, but uh, maybe that's the reason why the Mustangs keep on going out, just trying to put, draw out the uh, enemy aircraft. Not all too much. Rolling a bunch of misses there will force him back, probably severely damaged. And no interceptors coming out of any sort. Ooh, this would have been a much better spot. We've got transmission on the AT half track. Was the. No, not the game bombs. There must have been an AT gun. The AT gun that was back here. Though this flank here is still falling towards the Axis players. You got a Wisp not coming out, an artillery unit of range of 2,400 meters. Or 2.4 kilometers, kilometers. The airborne rifles trying to move forward, but they will get suppressed down by the dual LMG. He could go ahead and just let them waste the ammo. Pretty close, actually being dried out. There's a huge group here. This is another good B-26 area. Out of AC will be initiated in three minutes. As we're for now using up the rest of the ammo, forcing these units to fall back. Ooh, we got a radio operator. A 356 millimeter naval battery. I think these are naval battery call-in. There goes that Panzer Grandier unit, but how there's still one more. But with the fact that he has two LMGs over one, not LMGs, SMGs. He probably may be a win out, but this Stoom Pioneer is a bit of a problem, and he could have easily popped forward and destroyed that Panzer III if he would have known about it. He must not know about it. Because to I me, mean, it's probably worth it losing that airborne rifle to take out that Panzer III. Perhaps he should even deploy his own Sherman tank in the area, or Stuart. Stuart probably won't be able to take on the Panzer III, however, because 7 armor. Ooh, the B-26 coming in for a bomb run. We'll get a nice amount of suppression damage. Doesn't look... Didn't see it getting all too many kills, however. More small bombs coming in the pack 38 as well. We got time on target. The naval battery. Ooh, it's a large miss going to be. If you would have called it in a little bit forward, that would have been so much better. Yes, by the Sturm Pioneers. The yeah. M 1919 So we'll hopefully suppress them down. I always put my drinks on the ground so it doesn't spill over and fry anything. If it gets on the ground, fine, I can clean that up. But if it gets to my computer, not so much. Naval batteries are starting to come on in. I wonder, H? What? I can't see the HE values on that. Looks like this artillery unit is repositioning over here. We do also got a command Panzer IV, so more and more medium armors being pulled out by the Axis player. And I haven't seen many deployments by the by the airborne unit. Ooh, that one airborne engineer will burn that squad alive, forcing the surrender. Wonder what he's saving up. Maybe he has more bombers. He's trying to call in bombers. Those heavy bombers are extremely expensive. What he really needs is some medium tanks. I mean, the AT guns... These guys don't have exactly great armor penetration. The AT gun will have trouble even versus the Sherman tanks. So, I would say Panzer... Well, Sherman tanks would be a great option. If it goes for more bombers, I would disagree. Unless he gets some massive good hits. Airborne rifles will get, not rifles, engineers will get hit by the Wisp. Wisp? Wisp. Wisp. Maybe how you say it. I'm 
not exactly sure. If somebody's German, please let me know. Or pretty much anybody who knows any language, who knows I'll probably pronounce anything I try to say from as another base in origin, please let me know, because I always screw them up to high hell. I wonder, this thing has only one side armor, so the MGs may be able to penetrate it. I'm not exactly sure how effective MGs are versus one armor. We got a bazooka destroying that half track. But however, the Stoom Pioneer is now rolling forward. The there are two SMGs here to protect, but he will be facing against two SMGs and one Flamer. We got a bombing run coming into the Stoom Pioneer squad. We'll kill it off. Very nice. We got another B26 coming on in. This may be fresh and maybe the original. I need to destroy that. Oh, will he get destroyed? The Panzer Warfare? No, he will not just force in the fallback say and no interceptors. He believes he just lost air superiority, so he's just not going to build them. Just go focus on medium tanks, I guess, which is a v good possibility and a good option. This M3 AT gun will get cleaned up. This one's still alive. Actually, no, it will manage to live with one, one man left. And that's all. Oh, nope, never mind. Auto cannon. We do got two, a JU 88 bomber of his own with 14 H7 HE bombs along with one escort ME 19 Veteran C2. I think for only with a single target. Maybe a good idea, idea, but he needs to hit the air sporty fighter first. He's going to lose his aircraft. That AT gun did not in fact go down. First aircraft go down. The bomber does in fact go down. But needs to fly over any friendly AA coverage. No, he's bringing in a couple more P-51Ds. He will treat this back very early. I would say one aircraft for a bomber is a very good trade. This one may come into range. We'll get some shots off. Most likely won't splash it down. Yes, just started smoking as he fell back. Now he's using his air support to help straight the area. We got another B-26 coming in for a bombing run. This is a very good spot there. Probably won't get the Panzer IV, but he may in fact get the Panzer Grandier unit. Bombers, the bombs are coming in a bit more streamlined. We'll get a very good hit there, wiping out that unit. And we do got Bazooka roll to miss. Oh, shame. What a shame. Not shame on you. We'll fire again because the Panzer Force is taking the wrong lot. Rolls another miss. Now doing the Comfy Arrows 2 pathfinding uh, dance. And we'll get the kill on the rear armor of the Panzer IV. That is a big blow. Now he doesn't have all too much. He does have some AA weapons now coming on out. He doesn't have all too much left on the field. Both sides have lost quite a bit. He still has more, especially in mechanized vehicles. We've got another 26... M20 B26B Marauder not coming in. Dropping another line. I think those actually this one's equipped with four bombs. We'll wipe out that uh mechanized unit. He's starting to claim ground at 50% thanks to this airborne engineer. Been here for this entirety of the game, claiming a huge amount of ground. B-51D coming on in for a bombing run of his own. We'll probably suppress the MG. Don't think it will kill it off. Yeah, just suppress it. We'll get a model. And oh, airborne rifles with bazookas could take out those vehicles. However, do got the Stats troops moving forward. They will claim the AT gun. There is no defense against versus the infantry squad. He will be hitting these uh, units, but they will be starting to send some rounds back. We'll lose the AT half track. Minor loss, really, in comparison to the Panzer three. We'll line up another shot before it goes down. We'll get pinned down. We got an aircraft coming for a straight round. We'll claim one of the models there. We got the B B twenty B twenty six with the four with well, the eight bombs, not the four bombs. We'll bomb the air eye for the artillery piece. We'll roll a huge miss. Actually, partially. We'll claim out the half track. He can go ahead and roll over and hit the Panzer III next. 
AT gun still alive with one model. He needs to get a very good hit off. The controls back in favor of the Axis player at plus one. We got two aircraft. The two aircraft will most likely win unless they fly over some AA, which will force one in the back. The other one is now getting hit. Is AT gun still alive somehow with one man? Panzer 3 just rolling miss after miss and will claim the Panzer 3 and have won the biggest slugfest between 1 versus 1. This ME-19 main fact splashed down that aircraft. This one is still rolling or flying around. It still can go either way. There's still that AA weapon. Or no, it was just the auto cannon unit. And he will get a very nice turn radius. But however, the auto cannon is pitching in. He's just one bullet away from falling back. There he goes. This unit probably will not make it out of a tree. He needs to fly it around over here and then try to hit it from behind. No, he won't. Probably won't get it. In fact, he'll just say, screw it, fall back. Transmission damage on the Panzer III, so he will in fact get a bazooka shot here, but he's out of bazooka rounds. Your control is now 50-50 once again. We may see some more bomb runs. But however, the Axis player has sustained enough tickets to gain a major victory. This that US player having a huge gap in forces. He's just relying on aircraft at the moment, he, which, which can be quite cost effective, but is nothing for field control. He has a couple reinforcing infantry squads now. You can see another naval battery barrage. Do got another B-26 now coming on out. It may be enough to take out this Panzer III. The thing is severely damaged. If you look at the model, it has seen quite a bit of HE. Bombs are coming on in. We'll definitely get the suppression damage on the Panzer III. We'll not get on the bubble wagon, but I think we'll survive no matter what. We'll lose it to a bazooka's round. More and more infantry moving forward. These are engineers. They do, of course, have them in T, but they will get into open ground that was a poorly manned spot we'll get killed off instantly access player has now sustained plus two tickets losing all this ground because there's nothing here to contest Airborne rifles will get pinned down. There's just too much auto cannon fire and half tracks in the area for them to deal with. We do got a B 26 eyeing for close air support with the four 25 HE bombs, which he can probably wipe out these groups. I'm not exactly sure. These half tracks are very prone to get killed off by those HE bombs. We just only kill off the uh, Storm Pioneer squad. However, we do got ME-19 here to intercept. It is, this aircraft is very slow. He will get shot down. We do got two air security fires coming out. They need to be out there along with the bomber. It was way too deep in enemy territory to really fall back without any air escort. We do got a huge number of P-51s now coming out. This is where he's spending all his income on aircraft. And he's losing that bomber is a massive blow. He will splash down that ME-19. He needs to start strafing the area. Any target he sees, he needs to strafe it. No, he's falling back. He needs to start strafing. He has all those assets, but nothing to use it on, really. As we're for coming for a barrage, we'll get a very good amount of suppression on the board all op radio operator unit. However, we'll in fact get the kill, actually. Getting some very good lucky hits. Airborne engineers are still here. However, they will be coming upon an auto cannon fire soon. AT gun will get a kill on the half track. 
for more and more access reinforcements. We'll claim another half track, the auto cannon. That is actually quite important. A couple bombs coming in onto this unit. Will not force the suppression. However, if you were to go run forward and perhaps throw a grenade or two onto it, you may be able to uh, force enough suppression. His only chance in taking that out is trying to lure it forward and get some more suppression damage upon it. It's so close to being suppressed, and the flamethrower can, in fact, suppress it as well. Yeah, access supply has the same 7% of the tickets required. Got these airborne engine, airborne units. These bazookas can be very devastating to these units. However, this guy only has two bazooka rounds left. That is a huge problem. We'll be lining up shot in the was a Yag Panzer. That's actually not really necessary. He has not seen a single enemy tank. We'll claim off that auto cannon. Very nice. This airborne engineers will be forced to fall back. We'll be lining up another bazooka round but he is down to two member one member will get killed off before firing off that bazooka round this one is out of bazooka rounds as well e26 coming for another bombing run this is the eight bombed one bomber one we'll pin down the super pioneers but that's pretty much it Oh, we do got a Sherman tank now coming on out. However, the Sherman tank is not vulnerable to the Panzer III. Was it vulnerable to the Panzer III M, not the H variant? Shooter knockout, that's actually quite important. And we do got the Yag Panzer IV coming forward. It has 14 armor. That is a huge problem for the Allied presence at the moment. Bazookas, however, can engage it, but he needs to get them very close. And in fact, run up this line while he does not know about it just yet, we could actually be quite critical. Bombing run coming in. We'll like wipe out an MG team and force back the AA weapon. We do got another Sherm tank and as well as a P47 uh, Thunderbolt with uh, multiple bombs. We'll claim off, kill that uh, Stotch troop. Airborne engineers actually can get a very good demolition charge off. We'll be throwing demolition charge now. And it didn't do all too much. So it may get the sauce trip with the next one thrown, but he's reloading. He's, they have to rewire and relay up the TNT, <laughs> I guess. We'll get a pin, pin down on this Panzer Grinder. However, we do got a flame half track now moving forward. Does, of course, have two flame projectors. He's going to turn off the MG so he doesn't have to worry about it, it prioritizing that. Burn down instantly suppresses the airborne rifles. That is critical. They have bazookas. We'll manage to throw out both the uh, demo charges. However, we'll be getting that suppression out and enforce them back. The sauce troop, however, were cleaned up. B-47 bomber coming on in. We'll send down three bombs. We'll claim out the half, claim half track. It looks like the airborne rifles lining up a bazooka shot. We'll roll a miss on the Panzer III. That is a bit of a problem. And we'll get instantly get suppressed down by the, all the MG fire along with the AA weapon. Rolling that miss is actually quite important. Though he's very far from winning the game. He's facing against 2,000 tickets. And he has 21. His opponent has a times 100 more tickets. That is a lot of tickets to make up. Ooh, wait. How? Wait, how did that... Oh, they got killed off by this... No? Yes, the Sherman tank here. There is a brief opening there. He will claim one of the tanks there. Now they're just dueling it out. However, it looks like the Panzer IV is more slaughtered out the wind out. 
one shot away from beginning to suppress the Panzer IV. He needs some air support in order to suppress this unit. We'll get a weapon damage. There goes all of his ammo as well as well the fallback crit. We got some reinforcing units here, including M10 Tank Destroyer. Another M10 over here, but currently facing against plus two tickets. Total victory in three minutes. These trucks will move forward, however, they will spot auto cannon unit, but we'll get a nice bailout crit from the M10. In the following up, of course, we'll kill it off. Tank. He needs to get a supply truck up forward, but of course, as a spending income, he really does not have. He may not even have a supply unit being airborne. Maybe just relying on aircraft, really. I'm going just going to fast forward. This game's pretty much over. You can see here the Sherman takes out of ammo. You got some bombers coming on in. May get the Panzer Warfare. The Panzer Warfare is severely damaged. No, it's did not. Another bomber run. Just blind bombings at this point. More bombers coming on. We'll claim the A half track. This he has a huge bomber group, but he just didn't have enough ground forces to help provide pressure and spot. M10 and the Panzer Four will engage out. How the Panzer Four will win out. More slaughter the win at that range. Actually, no, they're about relatively even. The M10, of course, does have increased 200 meter range, so I think the M10 actually was more slow to win. However, the higher accuracy may prove uh, in his favor. More and more bombing runs from the P47. We'll kill, kill off the Panzer Warfare at the last moment, and this is a total defeat. This is A. John saying thank you for watching and signing off.